Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given system of equation by elimination method. To get a complete understanding of this topic, please watch this video till the very end for additional practice problem. So let's get started with our solution. The very first step is we want to call this first equation at the top. I want to call it equation number one and this one the other one i'm going to call it equation number two the next thing is since we want to eliminate one of these variables the easiest possible way is if somehow i can make this one negative 2y then this 2y and negative 2y they can cancel out that means i should multiply this uh, first equation by negative 2. So let's put down multiply equation 1 by negative 2. That means this equation, when you multiply this one by negative 2, you multiply this one by negative 2, this one by negative 2. So we are going to have negative 4x minus 2y equal to that's going to become negative 20. So now we're going to add this equation. Now add this equation to equation number 2. And number 2 equation is over here you can see is 3x plus 2y equal to 17. We are going to add them up. If you add these one up, so this positive 2y and negative 2y, they are gone. So that is going to give us, when you, you combine these one, that's going to give you negative x equal to negative 3 on this side. So that means now you can cancel out this negative sign. That means x turns out to be simply positive 3. So we finally found out x equal to 3. We can plug it in either equation number 1 or number 2 to get y value. So I'm going to say put x equal to 3 value. The easiest one is going to be equation number one. Let's put it in equation number one. And equation number one in our case is 2x plus y equals to 10. So wherever you see uh, x equal to 3, you just replace x by 3 because over here x is 3 plus y equals to 10. So that's going to become 6 plus y equals to 10. Just drag this one, move this 6 on the other side. So we got simply y equal to 10 minus 6. That means y turns out to be 4. So we got x equal to 3 and y equals to 4. Thus x equal to 3 and y equal to 4 is our solution or you can put it in a ordered pair in a coordinate form x equal to 3 and y equal to 4. And here is your assignment. Can you do this problem on your own now? You can take your time. You can pause the video. Luckily I have already uploaded this video as well. Please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.